because the return of Jesus Christ can happen at any time. Do you see that as being by God's design? I do. Do you realize that this is God's plan for Israel? What do you mean? It's actually a prophecy concerning Israel because of God's redemptive plan for Israel. Sadly, they're still waiting for the coming, the first coming of their Messiah because they rejected the true Messiah. Why? Because they did not discern the signs and understand the prophecy of his first coming. So now what's going to happen is, according to Bible prophecy, they will embrace a false Messiah, a false Christ, the Antichrist. And that will serve as a catalyst for all of Israel coming to a true saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. But here's the thing. It happens by way of prophecy. Just this last Wednesday, Breaking Israel News had a very interesting article about whether Russia was a friend of Israel or a prophetic enemy from the north. In it, they quote Ezekiel 38. We're pretty familiar with Ezekiel 38, aren't we? <laughs> we talk about it like every week. Here's some of what they had to say. In the wake of Israeli airstrikes targeting Iranian military sites in Syria, Russia released what seemed to be conflicting statements. By the way, parenthetically, let me say that uh, the breaking news, I think it was just yesterday, is that both Russia and the United States are pulling out of the uh, arms control treaty. How's that one? The article continues, with a major military presence in Syria, it is essential to understand Russia's intentions for the region. Russia's role takes on apocalyptic implications when considering verses that identify the pre-Messiah war of Gog and Magog, referring to Ezekiel 38. The prophet, according to the prophet Ezekiel, it will be a war against Israel fought by a multi-nation coalition led by a nation from the north. By the way, Israel is keenly aware of the prophecy in Ezekiel 38, not for the same reasons that we are. We know that it's an indicator of Christ's return in the rapture of the church. Israel sees it as an indicator of the first coming of their Messiah, which again will be the false Christ, the Antichrist. The article goes on to quote a fascinating teaching from an 18th century rabbinic sage known as Vilna Gaon, who singled out Russian aggression as a precursor to the Messiah. In other words, they, this rabbi has elevated the Ezekiel prophecy to the point where it becomes the marker that their Messiah is about to come. Listen to this quote from this rabbi just before his death in the year 1797, over 200 years ago. Quote, when you hear that the Russians have captured the city of Crimea, which, by the way, Russia annexed the Ukrainian territory of Crimea in 2014, five years ago. This was written in 1797. I continue to quote, when you hear that the Russians have captured the city of Crimea, you should know that the times of the Messiah have started, that his steps are being heard. And when you hear that Russians have reached the city of Constantinople, today's Istanbul, which is modern-day Turkey, you should put on your Shabbat clothes and don't take them off because it means that the Messiah is about to come any minute. I like that word, any minute, because you know what word it sounds like? Come on, somebody indulge me. <laughs> Imminent. 
Imminent. Any minute. Imminent. Okay, I feel better now. I didn't even have to yell to do that. Dare I say that we need to clothe ourselves, not in Shabbat clothes, but in Christ, as Paul writing to the Romans says, put on, clothe yourself in Christ, Christ's righteousness, imputed righteousness. Righteousness.